afternoon, kids. So, our subject for today is science. And our lesson is all about light and heat. Before we tackle our new lesson, let us pray first. Okay, let's bow our head, close our eyes, and let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to begin our lesson today. Fill each student with fresh enthusiasm and a heart that is excited to learn and grow. Cover them with your enduring love, give the confidence and grace, and equip them with the ability to preserve through trials. Bless us teachers with wisdom, understanding, and a heart to serve. Amen. So now children, we will discuss about heat and light. So, we need light to see things and heat to cook and keep warm. Look at the picture. If there's no light, can you see something? No. What if there's a light? You can see anything. Okay, even the small piece of dirt, you can see it. So, we use heat to cook food and keep warm so now kids how do you explain the presence of light and heat energy energy is around us it can be in the form of heat and light so for big idea heat and light are different but they are both forms of energy so heat is a form of kinetic energy contained in the random motion of the particles of a material light is a form of electromagnetic energy as with other form of energy heat energy can be transformed into light energy and vice versa okay so look so, what happened to the butter and the metal? Okay, the heat from the sun caused the butter to melt. So, the butter changed from solid to liquid. The sun also heated the metal. So, pag naglagay kayo ng anything under the sun, it will absorb the heat. So, pag hinawakan mo na yung ting na yun, mainit na siya. And doon naman sa butter, pagka... Pagka may nasensyang heat, ma may melt po yung butter. So, ganun din po pag yung ice nilagay mo under the sun, mag may melt yun. So, it becomes solid to liquid. Okay, so the sun is the main source of heat energy. So, the sun keeps the whole earth warm. So, there are other sources of heat. So, you can feel heat from other things too like fire, lamp, stove, friction, the bulb, the iron. Okay, so can you name some sources of heat? Okay. So, light energy allows people to see things, right? So, plants need sunlight to grow. So, without the light from the sun, there will be no life on earth. Okay, for additional activity, answer it on your notebook. Okay, so for science process skills, so light a candle, put your hand close to the flame. Then, observe the heat and light. What did you see? What did you feel? So, you see the light and you feel the warmth of the flame. So, light and heat are related to each other. Whenever there is light, heat is always present. So, the question is, what form of energy does the candle produce? How is heat related to light? What other objects produce both heat and light so the question is what is the importance of heat so do you know that like other forms of energy heat can be used to perform work so it can warm things up cool things down generate electricity and be transmitted for use in different locations 
So, can too much heat, light, and heat energy from the sun harm us? How? How can you protect yourself from too much light and heat energy from the sun? Okay, nothing is more important to us on earth than the sun. So, without the sun's heat and light, the earth would be lifeless ball of ice-coated rock. So, the sun warms our seas, steers our atmosphere, generates our weather patterns, and gives energy to the growing green plants that provide the food and oxygen for life on earth. So, that's why um, heat and light is important so this question you will answer this on your note okay so remember children that fire produces heat and light flammable materials can easily catch fire and burn they should be used properly and kept out of the reach of children non-flammable materials are objects that do not burn so now we will tackle what is luminous object and non-luminous object. So when we say luminous, full of or shedding light, bright or shining, especially in the dark. So ibig sabihin pag sinabi nating luminous, may, uh, nag meron siyang light. Pag non-luminous naman, objects that cannot emit light energy by themselves. So, for luminous, we have sun, street lights, flashlight, street light, and the uh, lightning, bulb, fire, candle, and many more. So, when we say nan luminous naman, ito yung mga object na hindi nakakapag-produce ng light. Like clouds, animals, balls, uh, Things that you see without light. Okay, kids, so do you know that the moon also gives light? But its light comes from the sun. So the moon is non-luminous. So non-luminous objects do not give off light of their own. So they reflect light from a luminous source. So yung moon is kumukuha lang siya ng light dun sa sun. So, nagre-reflect lang po yung light ng sun. So, so, now, turn on a flashlight in front of the mirror. Okay. So, the mirror reflects the light coming from the flashlight. So, moon and mirrors are example of non-luminous objects. Check. So, there are other non-luminous luminous materials such as trees, pencils, paper, some clothes, stuffed toys, and bags, and other objects that do not produce light. Okay, so naintindihan nyo, ang luminous, yun ay yung nagproproduce ng light. Then, non-luminous, yun po yung hindi nagproproduce ng light. Okay, so now children, let's try. Tell whether luminous and non-luminous. A bulb, is it luminous or non-luminous? So, it is luminous. How about glass? Is it luminous or non-luminous? So, this is a non-luminous because it cannot produce any light. How about fire? Is it luminous or non-luminous? So, it is luminous because it can produce light. So, how about apple? Is it luminous or non-luminous? So, this is a non-luminous. How about pencil? It is non-luminous. How about books? It is non-luminous also. How about moon? Okay, so moon only get light from the sun. So this is a non-luminous. How about lampshade? Okay, we can see light. So this is a luminous object. So now kids, we will 
we will tackle about flammable and non-flammable materials. Okay, so when we say flammable, burn easily. So here are examples of flammable. So we have wood, paint thinner, gas, LPG or liquefied petroleum gas, aceton, and kerosene. So firewood, kerosene, and liquefied petroleum gas are used in cooking. So these materials burn and give off heat and light. So materials that burn easily are flammable. So here are some examples like alcohol, gasoline, acetone, kerosene, paint, and thinner paint thinner are very flammable. So, flammable materials should be kept away from the reach of children and from open flames. So, dahil pagka, for example, may nabuhos na gasolina, tapos nag, uh, may nagtapon ng sigarilyo, then, ma, ma, parang maamoy yun ng gas, then biglang liliyab na yun. Nagegets nyo ba? Okay, so, so, when we say non-flammable, do not burn at all. So, they are non-flammable like glass, rocks, metals, and wall na cementado. Okay. So, magbigay nga kayo ng halimbawa pa ng non-flammable things. Okay. So, now what have you learned today? So, we learn about heat and light and also we tackled about luminous and non-luminous materials. So, what is luminous again? So, when we say luminous, it produces their own light. So, when we say non-luminous, it, it does not produce their own or it or they do not give off light of their own. So, what about flammable and non-flammable materials? So, what is flammable again? So, when we say flammable, it burns easily. And when we say non-flammable, it do not burn at all. So, can you give an example of flammable? How about non-flammable materials? Okay, so don't forget what have you learned today. So now, kids, for your activity, uh, read your book on page 269 to 270. Then answer page 271, 274 to 275. So that's all for today, children, and thank you. Goodbye.